likes comedy edits. I've never seen this guy in here before. He's got info. This guy's got gossip. He's got the scoop. No, I agree with the, this. Mike comedy edits is winning me over. He says, how you come with a question and not have the answer for fuck's sake. No, you're not really Jesse. Mike's comedy edits. Uh, no, I don't know who. Mike's comedy edits. Everyone go follow Mike's comedy edits. Mike's uh, comedy edits says, take it easy, Aaron. I got to get back to Mersh watch. These clips won't edit themselves. Mike's comedy edits says, Mersh is really spiraling over this Jesse co-hosting appearance. He was so drunk this morning. He missed his paywall show today. Big sad. Uh, I don't know why he was upset about the Jesse PS thing. I mean, I, I, I revealed that Jesse's a trust fund baby, uh, which by the way, uh, that's not even my thing. Like when I was doing that, uh, that comedy show and Nick was there and Riley was there, I think it was Riley who told me that. So I, I don't, I didn't think that was like, you know, I, I had a bunch of people writing me going, Oh my God, dude, you're the, you got Jesse to admit he's a trust fund baby. I'm like, Everybody I talk to, like, has told me that. I, I was asking Jesse, and he said, yeah, I do. I have one. I, <laughs> I didn't think that was a big reveal. But, like, all we did was we had Jesse on, and we said, this is Jesse's shtick. This is what he does. This is, you know, he's harmless, blah, blah, blah. I thought we, you know, I, I don't really know why anyone treats Jesse like he has fangs, you know? Fags, maybe, but not fangs. I mean, I get he's been a piece of shit to Mersh. And he has. And I told him in the interview, I said, you've been a real piece of shit to Mersh. Like, you've been uh, dickish to him. But, like, if I... Uh, if somebody sent me Coles, I fucking love coleslaw. And what's uh, Uber Eats going to do? Poison it? No. You're going to have delicious coleslaw. That's what you're going to have. Uh, Mike's Comedy Edit says you handled it perfectly. Mersh was just mad, so he attacked you. I, well, he could have talked to me about it. I mean, I asked him if I, I asked him. I said, "Do you want to be on? You guys, you know, you can fucking yell at him, do whatever you want. I don't give a shit." Um, and he's like, "No, that faggot's done this, this, and that to me." And I'm like, "Okay, I understand." I go, "I just had him on. I, you know, my whole thing was, I know what Jesse is. I know who Jesse is. I know what he does. It, it's he doesn't intimidate me, scare me, anything like that." And I just kind of wanted to have him on and show people, like, this is what he does. Like, what's the big fucking deal? Uh, Topakai says, Mersh literally emails the police when people make fun of him. I Look, I like Mersh. I like ROTC. I'm not going to apologize for that. Uh, Mike's Comedy Edits uh, says, you're on his was nice to you list now. I don't know what that means. I don't know whose was, was nice to me list. I don't know. Uh, I'm still, I'm still reading that pinned message. Dying at Panera is the white people's equivalent to being shot by cops. Fucking beautiful. Uh, if you guys want to hit like, we appreciate your support. If you want to hit share, we appreciate it. Still over 300 people hanging around as we're getting ready to start overtime tonight. Thank you. Oh, people are talking about the Mersh thing. I don't really want to talk about the Mersh Johnny thing. I'm sure Mersh will talk about it tonight on uh, Nightwave. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he got a kick out of the Johnny thing. And like I said, we cut the show short. The audience was really supportive. And uh, Johnny, fucking Johnny and I went to breakfast and we talked for a while. And we, we uh, you know, I just wanted to see how he was feeling and how he was doing. And we've been talking throughout the day. And apparently it turned out to be a really good day for Johnny. So, you know, like I said, no harm, no foul. Five bucks from Nick the Milkman. Uh, by the way, Nick the Milkman up to... Where is Nick? Nine, that should be 95 now. There we go. Nick the Milkman is at 95 bucks. He's getting close to being back up on the leaderboard. Also, we're 55 bucks into Keanu's day tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Mike's Comedy Edits. I've never seen this guy in here before. He's got info. This guy's got gossip. He's got the scoop. Uh, Mike's Comedy Edits says he's a no-show so far. He got so drunk last night, he stayed up for your show just to shit on you because of the Jesse shit. Is that what it was about? That's that. Okay, well, that bums me out, I guess. I mean, it doesn't bum me out, but it's like, I, you got mad that I had Jesse on like a week ago, didn't we? Didn't we have Jesse on on Wednesday? Yeah, because I was drinking that uh, apple pie moonshine stuff, not realizing that moonshine means it'll get you fucked up, dummy. Don't put too much in it. And I got way too drunk after the show. 
But it was like that accidental drunk where I, you know, I, I didn't want to be. But I drank this, um, I drank this apple pie that a listener gave me. I didn't realize how stiff it was. Whoopsies. Yule Gibbon says, I was a little confused why he didn't say anything about it at all until today. Yeah, me too. And then people are like, oh, but Jesse then tries to take over your show and shit like that. We'll just block, either block his people or ignore it. Uh, or in my instance, like when, when we had him on that StreamYard thing and then we had Gino on, he tried to show up in the StreamYard thing. And so I just booted him from it. It's not like... I know that people's criticism of me is I'm way too laissez-faire about internet shit. That I go, ah, it's internet shit. I do my show. I go live my life. I don't see it. People can talk shit about me if they want. Big fucking deal. And I know that's rare. I know from Johnny. I know from April. I know from everybody. Like, Corey and I, I feel like Corey and I have that attitude. Who gives a shit, right? But a lot of people don't have that attitude. And I, I guess I got to be more mindful of that, I suppose. Uh, Sandy Squatch says, you still haven't learned, LOL. You drank that on radio that one day. Yeah, I did. Vince, Mc, uh, Vince McMahon says, uh, Jesse wasn't on that long. Not much happened during. I don't know why anyone would care. Dude, I didn't even clip it out. I didn't even cut it out to put on YouTube as a clip. I just didn't think it was very good. I, I just, it's kind of boring, I thought. Uh, Glue PF, uh, FPV. Says the loyalty to Mersh is retarded. Well, loyalty, I'm just being honest. I'm being authentic. I like his shows. I find his shows entertaining. Uh, pick your real friend, not some fake online dude that's just secretly jealous of you. I don't think he's secretly jealous of me, but I also chose Johnny 100% this morning. At Mike's Comedy Edits, take it easy. Try not to be too big of a dick, but have some fun. Mike's Comedy Edits, we cool? I liked you. You were all right. Is this your first time here? Did you believe the hype or am I okay?